anyway... Let us continue exploring this area. Because exploration is probably one of the best parts of this game. Now go ahead and blow yourself up, Octavia. God damn it. Fucking disarm it. Not Holy shit, you managed it! I I you are a goddess, Octavia! Ooh, a sweet- what? Sweet syrup? This sounds... terrible. A cooking ingredient, huh? Is that a statue of someone? No, that's a troll turned to stone because of sunlight! How? Oh! Um... Right now, let's do this! Go, go, go! Oh my god, there's so many more of them than I thought there were. Bane, quick, Bane! Shit! He didn't get Bane off. Oh no, he did. The bandit leader is Baned. Um, shit. Tristian's dead. I really need to get him a goddamn... I don't know, anything. Like a shield. He can't use... Well, he can use crossbows. Um, let's see. You... And you, I need you to heal yourself, good sir. Yes! You barely healed yourself for anything, you worthless piece of shit. I fucking hate you so much, Reg. You're you're com you're utterly fucking worthless. Wow. Well, this is aggravating. Huh. I wonder, if I wait for Nightfall, will that troll unstonify? Unpetrify, I mean? Holy shit. Is this fucking working? I think it's actually working. I wasn't expecting this to to not fuck me in the ass, but I am surprised.
I need a key. Okay then, so where do I get the key for this? Another hut. Okay, a cozy house stands away from the main roads. An excellent place for a hermit, huh? I'm sorry. Done and done. Ha! Octavia didn't fail, Lindsay! Don't worry about it. Oh, Bartholomew Delgado. A middle-aged man stands before you. His clothes are not too gaudy, but distasteful. Despite living in the wilderness, he looks well-groomed, even dapper. His mustache is slick, and the nails on his, on agile and agile soft hands are meticulously polished. What a pleasant surprise! Welcome, your grace. Would you like a cup of tea? Something stronger, perhaps? It's a great honor for a humble hermit entertaining such an important personage. Al Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Bartholomew Delgado. At your service. How may I be of assistance? Do you know anything about the local trolls who are resistant to fire? I've never heard anything like it. If this is true, I'll have to revise my defenses. Your Grace, I'm afraid we must intermit that conversation for now. A moment ago, a troll was caught in one of my fire traps and it was unharmed. I suggest that a chance to explore its corpse would better equip me to answer your questions. My liege, I humbly request your protection. Please follow me. Lead the way, Bartholomew! Oh dear lord. Okay. I hope he doesn't die. Taste the acid splash! Okay, so acid is doing less damage than my normal attacks for some reason. Yes! Bartholomew walks around the troll's corpse. At least they're still vulnerable to steel and acid. Now let's look into the, this... In, blah, 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 blah. Let's look into why this creature lost its respect for fire. Bartholomew recites an incantation and waves his hand over the troll's chest, then points a specific p spot on it. There! Branded on the flesh! is a symbol of a blacksmith's hammer encircled by thorn-studded vines. Whatever that is, that's the reason its flesh didn't burn. The wizard slowly makes an incision around the brand and then peels the flesh off, exci excising the brand completely. I must study this. Here's the key to my laboratory. Wait for me there. I'll join you soon enough. Without another word, Bartholomew wishes, whispers another incantation and vanishes. Cool. Okay then, what? Where the fuck were you? A barefoot young man in tattered clothes stands before you. His eyes dart about wildly and his matted hair sticks up in dirty spikes. Help! Help! The young man yells, even though you're right in front of him. What's wrong? What happened? Help! The man's scream subsides as he finally notices your presence. I... I... I'm... W Wayne! He manages at last. His eyes are so wide that they look like they might fall out of his sockets. He's mad in the head. Let him rot. So, Wayne, what happened? Traitors! We- we're traitors! Lexin and me! We- Wayne va waves his hand vaguely. As he relaxes, he starts to babble. We usually come to visit the local mage, bring him food, and he gives us magic trinkets in exchange. We came last- um, we last came a month ago, left in some supplies. We were riding back today, and we wanted to stop and pick up an order he promised to complete. Well, Lexan stayed to guard the cart while I went to the mage's house. This The mage has a bunch of traps around his house. Scares off the trolls, you see. He even put a warning sign up by the road so people wouldn't get hurt. You just have to stick to the road. Trolls are stupid, can't read, so they get caught. But I didn't stick to the road. I thought I saw something glittering in the underbrush. Soon as I approached, BOOM! Suddenly I was flying upside down. Wayne lifts his hand sharply to mimic the blast. When I landed, I was too scared to move. So many traps around, I wouldn't survive a second boom. 
Cowards like this make me sick. He'd shit himself at the sight of a rabbit. So, do you want to get back to the road? Wayne begins front frantically nodding, then stops, thinks the matter over, and begins, begins frantically shaking his head instead. We have to get him out of here. Let me talk to him. I'm sure I can calm him down. Enough sniveling! One hit from me will fix him! <laughs> mm. Alright, well... What the fuck? Okay. Alright, how about that? Wayne contemplates your words for a moment before a new fear falls across his face, but this time, instead of freezing in place, he begins sprinting towards the road! Okay, then. It is done. Follow me. A dungeon. Look at that. And a secret door. So this place isn't suspicious at all. I see something. A trap. It's a troop! I did as you asked. That you did. And then Lindsay did it I did as I asked. Ooh, a cloak and bracers. A Hydra eye. That's very intriguing. What is that weird boiling sound? Serrated knives, stained needles, and manacles share shelves with flasks, vials, and chemicals. Holy shit, this is some kind of, like, crazy-ass alchemist lab. Goods. Temple of Roses by Alessin of Scenaria. I'm not reading that whole thing. Ah! A mushroom. A purple mushroom. Bartholomew's Diary, huh? Token of the Dryad. Awesome. March on. Is that a- that's a troll. Borba! A hoarse croak comes from behind the bars. Borba! The troll sitting in the cage is so thin you can see his ribs through his skin. Although you see no scars, his pelt is matted with dry bu dried blood, and his eyes are dull and unfocused. Various knives, saws, and bloody manacles scattered about leave little doubt about what this troll has suffered. Borba! The troll croaks through clenched teeth. Kill me! Enough! It hurts! What did I do? Bartholomew... Rushes into the laboratory, waving a simple t branded troll skin, a sim sample of branded troll skin excitedly. It was simpler than I thought. This is just a simple spell of fire protection. Any competent wizard could cast it. The unusual element was the way the spell was applied. This wasn't cast by any human hand. Oh no, the brand was stamped on with some artifact, which would make it impossible to make, which would make it possible to make trolls fire resistant in massive numbers. This is grave news for us all. My fire traps are useless now, and making acid traps will take time and resources. More importantly, for trolls to organize in such a way, there must be some greater intelligence operating behind the scenes, and if that's the case, the list of potential targets for a force that formidable is a short one. Bartholomew pauses, then begins to rummage through his lab. I promised you a reward, so please accept these acid wands. I'm afraid that you may need them soon. First, explain to me why this troll is in your cage. Bartholomew's eyes light up. Oh yes! This is the greatest project of my career! I'm exploring the regenerative abilities of trolls in hopes that passing them on to humans. Can you imagine the possibilities? Chronic pain, er, pain, senility, mutilations, even death itself, defeated! Oh, you weren't concerned I acquired the troll illicitly, were you? Don't worry, I purchased it legally. I'm not some poacher out roaming the barren's woods. Trolls are sentient beings, not cattle to be bought and sold. What you're doing is inhumane. Set him free. Set it free? 
so it can come back and eat you and me too? You are insane. The wizard stops abruptly. Bartholomew throws a long, sullen glance your way. At your, at once, your grace, he finally manages through clenched teeth. Both Oct Octavia gives Bartholomew a gloatful smile. Understand? Her whisper is just barely audible. The wizard turns away without saying a word. Huh. Good day, my baron. Huh. Did Octavia, like, break his mind or something? Or Octavia, whatever. Hmm. Interesting.